thought I'd try something new. I do have a lot of baits here carrying. These are for the next show, too. Can't let them touch them. These just got new clear coats on them. There we go. Those well, got new clear coats on them. So this is still a little sticky. Oh, let's turn that TV on so I can see. So we're not selling anything today. But I thought it'd be fun. And if you guys want to give me suggestions on what you want me to paint. Um, these baits will be for sale in my next auction, which is the 25th. Takes a long time to paint a bait. <laughs> I will just tell you that. Um, total, it takes... Yeah, I kind of turned on that TV. Hey, Martin. All right, let's see. Turn on the TV, Mike. Uh, so I can see the monitor above my desk. This is my studio. I have several monitors going. So, all right, there we go. So, um, it, just so you know, I mean, besides painting the bait, <laughs> You got to glue on the eyes. You got to clear coat it. Then you got to let it all cure. And then you fit it. All in all, to do a, paint, a bait from beginning to end takes four days. So we're going to do a topwater bait. And uh, this is one of my favorites. It's a three inch, half ounce. Great rattles to it. Nice deep rattle to it. So we're going to do one of these. And uh, if you guys got a pattern <laughs> that you want me to paint, I will take suggestions. Um, I love doing suggestions. Um, it's just uh, it's kind of a fun thing because even I don't know what I'm going to be painting then. See? Um, and then... Uh, if you want a dark bait, a light bait, you know, it has a lot to do with the, the base coat. Um, so we need to stick this on here. Come on, you can, there we go. There we go. So now we've got it on our little stand. <laughs> I'll try to keep it in the middle. Hey, Michael. You know what? I thought I'd try this one today, you know? Thought I would give this a shot so people can see how I paint baits. Now, I, on my shows, I usually will give you a little, you know, under 60 second view of the process. Uh, so if you ever go to my, like my 25th show auction, then you will see, I think that was a bluegill, which by the way, is I just put clear coat on it. Try not to touch it. That's a bluegill. Oh, there you go. That's the one, uh, you know, that I very hard bait to paint, by the way, because bluegills have so many layers of color to it. So, so I mean, since you guys are on, Josh and PMS, PM Sh <laughs> Sh Mason, um, does anybody have, I don't know. A, a suggestion, a type of, you know, these are bass baits. Um, something that you would like me to paint on this particular top water, because, you know, it's a pretty cool top water. This is one of my favorite top waters. Well, yeah, I have a seven and a half inch. <laughs> so, um, does anybody have a suggestion? A type of uh, fish you want me to paint on it? Because that has a lot to do with my base. You know, the first coat, which is black or white. And uh, so anybody, oh, a leopard frog colors, Mike. I 
you know what? It's not really a frog bait, but because it is topwater bait, a wake bait, uh, I could do a crappie um, on it. And crappie's got a lot of really fun colors to it underneath. So um, being a crappie um, bait, we're going to, actually, I'm going to do two base coats then. If that's what you guys, you know, you guys want to see me paint a crappie? Because you know, we can paint a crappie on this. Crappie is a fantastic pan fish. A, little e a lot easier than a, <laughs> than a bluegill, but I got two bluegills behind me. So we're not going to do a bluegill. If you want to see me paint a bluegill, just go to my 25th. So, all right. Crappie it is. I happen to have a great stencil for crappie. And um, we're going to go half. We're going to we're going to cut the base coat right down here. The bottom third is going to be white, and then black on the top because we really, you know, I've got some beautiful beautiful colors to put underneath the um, the uh, black spots. Which so we're going to go with white. We'll try it because you know this is a sixteen nine by sixteen type of uh, framing. So I'm used to going widescreen here. We're just going to prime the brush. And we're just going to put some white in here. Really don't need much. Uh, you know, five, maybe five spots, drops of it. So we're just going to do some white right down there on the bottom third. And now we'll clear this out and put some black in here. Now the base coats are rather unremarkable. <laughs> I mean, basically all a base coat does is help us get, uh, you know, the next layers to really pop. So that's what we're going to do. Crappies are really cool fish. It happens to be a good bait fish too. Um, for bass. I love bass fishing. I'm a bassaholic. I'm going to fisherman's aholic because you know I spend too much money on fishing. My favorite reel is a uh, Shimano Aldebaran. I like finesse fishing with the bait BFS reel. All right, so that is our base coats. So we got white on the bottom because I really want the belly to pop. All right, where is it? Oh, there it is. I want the I want the the belly to be real bright, and then we're going to put some. Uh, Pretty cool sh color shifting uh, paints. Um, I love color shifts. Um, the brand I love the most for color shift is Turbo Dork. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, huh? Really is called Turbo Dork. <laughs> Do you get a buzz? <laughs> this is all acrylics. There's no fumes. I use acrylics. Um, now, my clear coat is um, a two-part epoxy. So the uh, it doesn't, it, it's, it's water-based too. So uh, even my clear coat doesn't give me fumes. Plus, I'm a little congested from a cold, so I really can't really smell. <laughs> Sometimes my nostrils are different colors. <laughs> All right, so we want. I'm going to go with a pearl uh, silver for the belly. I'm going to go with pearl silver silver for the belly. Oh, man, some ad popped up. You can't see your guys' talking. All right, there we go. We're going to tint this with a tad bit of blue. 
you know, silver actually has blue in it. Uh, when you make silver, you have to tint it with a little bit of blue. I'm using a medium tip. So I really don't need to thin this. Uh, on this tip, if we were using a fine tip, I would be using a reducer. Basically, to, to tint this, you just put, just wet the end of a toothpick. <laughs> you put so little in there, I mean, I'm not sure if you can even, it's measurable. And now we've got sort of a blue silver. I'm going to put that on the belly. Mix it thoroughly. Takes a lot of layers to do. Hey, uh, they, and I ran out. I should have put more in. That's all right. Um, you're going to see, we're going to actually put some orange in here, too. And we can get a little messy on the bottom. And there we go. That's just the that's the that's the bottom. That's the bottom. And that is just the belly. So now we need to go to a green, so we're going to go with a, uh, what's called a fast back green. I think that's it, right? Yeah, no, that's it. Fast back green. There it is. That's a new bottle. Got some here. This, really a great color. Uh, we're going to thin this out because this particular this particular color. Hey, Tinny, I'm about to do this today. I think your other package is due today, isn't it? Isn't it out for delivery today, Tinny? I think. Could be wrong. Now, whenever I mix in the cup, especially when you're dealing with, you know, metallics, I always mix put my reducer in first. Make sure your tip is clean because I don't want little pieces of paint to clog up my tip. And then put this in. I'm going to use quite a bit of this. Mm. Mix vigorously. Mix vigorously. And then what we're going to do one of my favorite things, colors to paints to put on a bait, is this. I know it's gonna be weird, but it's called transparent yellow. It'll make the blues, this is actually a blue and gold color chip. But it makes the blues green. So actually it's just another layer on top. So kind of fun actually. All right. Oh, you guys can't see. Let's tilt back down. You guys can see. You can see that black. Look at the gold. I mean the color shift. You guys can see that it's actually blue and gold. And again, this is just the bottom layers that I'm putting on here. Now, when you put it over black, it's blue and gold. But when you put it over a lighter color, it's actually blue. See how that blue stripe right here? And then you get in this color shift right in here. Now, the thing about color shift, you don't put it all on at the same time. So you got to put them on in layers. 
thin layers. <laughs> this is this is a good lure, and, and you know what? When you because of the silver belly, and this is a top water lure, uh, this thing is going to be popping. It. I don't care what time of day it is. Um, this is going to be a fun one at Lake of the Woods where I fish. Uh, you know, and uh, it's a clear lake. Lake of the Woods is about 20 foot clarity right now. Last time I was up there last week. So we're going to let that dry again. Again, can you guys see the color shifts on it? Can you see that color shift? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Camera really doesn't do it justice. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Uh, but this is a type, of, these are the baits I sell on my auctions. And, I, you know, I thought maybe I'd do this little pop-up paint. And uh, with your guys' suggestions, um, you know, paint a couple baits. And this way, you guys, when you tune in on the 25th, if you do tune in, please bookmark me. I'm still new to the app. I've only had two auctions. And uh, single dad, uh, I hope you know that you know, finally the scan took. It's, you know, I actually delivered. I put it in the postage on Monday, single dad. So. Uh, you will, you will be getting it. It's in the mail. Uh, it's not a, it's not a, I put it in the mail the next day, but I don't know what it is with the USPS. And again, the neat thing too, look at the tail. The tail, because I did put some, some silver down there. Uh, the tail's bottom tip is blue. Uh, where the top is green. It's got that gradation. So we're just going to uh, put use the rest of this cup on here. And then we're going to go with my uh, transparent yellow because I love transparent yellow. I really love transparent yellow. And then we got to dry it really good because we're going to use the stencil for crappie patterns. Now, I want to put a little bit of orange right around the gill plate. So when we do, so it, it has sort of, well, it just looks pretty. <laughs> it just looks pretty. I like pretty. And uh, we'll make it sort of a burnt orange. So it looks sort of like a blood trail but still reflect the light nicely. Um, well, look at that. You guys can really, you really can't appreciate it on this camera right here. Um, but it is really very pretty. All right, so we're going to clean this out. And go to the next color, which is transparent yellow. And then we're going to add a tad bit of red to the transparent yellow to make that orange. We gotta we gotta dry that that color shift pretty decent because uh, I want this to lay on it and not not mix in it. So I finally got a response from Oregon Department of Boating. They need a picture of my pontoon boat where I can get my boat registered. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh man. Well, when I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Oregon's a lot easier state for boat registration than California. I'll just tell you that. California, where I grew up, is a pain in the butt. <laughs> and expensive. All right, so we're going to take this transparent yellow, and we're just going to run it right down the middle, right there. So now we've got a lighter stripe right down the middle. The, the camera's probably not picking it up. But there it is. You guys see? You guys probably can't see that stripe, but 
It's there. <laughs> no. I'm just barely feeding the tape out of the tip. Oh yeah, that looks really. Yeah, you can go a little, but you can't. Once if you go too much, it's tough to go back. So there's that. Now we're going to take just a tad bit of red. Really, very little red. Really, very little red. I mean, so little. You guys will laugh, but red is a very strong pigment. And <laughs> so when you mix it in with a very light pigment, it, it it's powerful. It, it turns it. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, that's as little as I could put in there. And it's a, a nice orange. It's a very nice orange in there, although it looks like yellow in the screen. I'm going to go just a little bit more red. Again, you can go forward, but you can't go backwards. Well, I can add more yellow. Which is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to turn down a little too red. Yellow is such a highly reflective color in the water. And uh, so... This thing looks metallic right now. This bait it looks metallic. It's not. It looks, although the paint does have metals in it. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to take right along the gill plate here. This is what you pay for. Little details that might make a difference. When you catch a fish. I am the Lake of the Woods guide. So I teach people how to, to catch bass all the time at Lake of the Woods here in Oregon. I also do the, uh, yeah. I know it's hard, I, I bet you that camera's not even picking that up, but that is sort of a burnt red right there, um, real faint, right along the gill plate, so now we, get, we need to dry this really well, because I'm going to lay it down and put a stencil on it, I don't want to lose my paint. I'm going to lay it down. Probably not have to lay it down. That's an easy stencil to use vertically. Okay, buddy. I think you got a package coming today. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I sent quite a few out. I know. Uh, single dad, yours. I don't know why I took. For, it's, it's like that. I hand it to the, to them when I um, when I mail it. I hand it to them. I mean, I I label it right after the show. I package it next day. It's in the mail. Um, so I you know since I'm new, 
Although I would do this anyway, and you guys are going to get surprises in your packages because I always over deliver. <laughs> always over deliver. All right. So we got those are crappie patterns. Actually, have another one. Let's see what I got. I do have another one in here. Lots of stencils, dude. Lots of stencils. It's it's trout. Uh, where is it? I burned my own stencils. And Maybe it's up there. I was doing a lot of painting the other day. Nope. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I was doing a lot of painting yesterday. I did like 18 lures yesterday. All right, that's more of a that's more of a crappie pattern. So we we'll go with that. <laughs> Felt a little hot there. My uh, wood dryer was facing me. Whew, heating up. <laughs> nice. Thanks, single dad. I I did put some nice surprises in there. Um, and even even the um, the I think I put some soft plastics in with yours. Uh, I know you didn't buy them, but those are also handmade. I don't make them. A friend of mine does. So, um, I think you'll like the package that I sent you. Um, I, uh, I, I love American-made stuff. I mean, my rods are American-made, Cajun custom. Um, you can't get a reel that's American-made. You can get American companies. You can't get American-made reels. But, you know, but I use Shimano mostly in the Pissy Fund for some other stuff. But uh, um, I love my Shimano reels a lot, a lot. All right, so we should be should be dry. So let's uh, black pearl black is a very high, you know, content rich paint. So we basically, where is it? Where is it? Right in front of my face, right? That's in front of my There it is. Second shelf. Uh, this is a heavy pigment. And uh, to flow through your brush, I know this is a, a number two needle, a medium needle. Uh, it flows well, but still thick pigments. Uh, now, the neat thing about black, you can just give it a tint. And I love putting a little red in my black. Now, there is a bait behind me curing. I call my deep purple. Uh, the uh it at first on camera it looks like black spots it's a deep purple it's gorgeous yeah that looks gorgeous um the uh it's a deep diving bait named after a very famous rock group deep purple all right <laughs> back in the day back in the day i'm really old Turn the 60 this year. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're just going to uh, we're lay that down just like that. And then lay this over this. Make sure everything is dry. I hate to scratch with a good paint job. Now we're going to try that. We're going to do it again. You guys can see. 
I mean, I'll put the camera better to where you guys can see what's happening there. All right. I'm going to flip it over. A slightly different color pattern on it. And that is the pattern for that side. Kind of neat, huh? <laughs> it is kind of a neat pattern. Um, that's so much light. Well, that's the pattern right there. So now we're going to flip this baby over. And again, that black has just a tinge of red. Because, you know, one must be a little different in the world of bait making. <laughs> All right. It's got to be a little different. Different enough to make your signature. But not too different or the fish don't bite it. <laughs> so we're going to dry this and we're going to flip the stencil over, give it a reverse pattern. I have some beautiful, beautiful glass eyes that go on this. Beautiful. Glass eyes, not plastic. Again, the difference between custom bait and mass manufactured bait. That's beautiful. So now we got some black still in here, so we're going to blend that back just a little bit towards the tail. So now we're going to do a little bit of blending so those that crappie pattern doesn't look so crazy like it stops here and starts there. So we're just going to just sort of blend right along that shape. And I want that head to stay green but the the back half to be black like that. And we are looking pretty darn nice. I like that bait. I like that bait a lot. You know, like every bait I paint, dude, you guys will get a kick out of it. Every bait I paint, I always say the same thing. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I can catch a fish for that. And for the most part, I'm right. I could catch a fish. <laughs> Why else would I paint it? Why else would I throw it? So the water for bait like this, you want the water to be about 70 degrees or better. Uh, but that, all right, without an eye and clear coat, that is our bait. The eye will be a yellow-green glass. It's a bulbous eye. Uh, it's really big. It's beautiful. It really refracts light. So, and uh, so that is a very, very cool-looking bait. Really cool-looking bait. I love crappie. Crappie is a really cool pattern. Um, it flashes really well in the water. Catches the fish's attention. So now we let this cure for an hour or so, and then I'll glue the eyes on. And yes, I do glue eyes on. I use a Gorilla Super Glue to put the eyes because I can't stand the idea of an eye, and I've had them fall off. I hate that. It's just, that's just no fun. You know, one, you know, basically you're, you're fishing a pirate. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Ah, oh, let's do a uh, let's do a square bill. 
Let's do a square bill. I like square bills. Square bill is probably the most popular lure for a hard baits. And this is an what we call an S curve um, square bill. Um, that's what we call it. So, oh, hey, <laughs> Jake, Kenny, uh, that's nice of you. There were more sellers did more buy a, a bait and watch it built, even if it was just one. Yeah. Well, I love when when somebody um, orders a bait from me. When somebody orders a bait from me, I will paint it and record it. Then I'll put it online. And then when they receive it, they can see exactly how I painted their bait. They can see that creation come to life from beginning to end. And I just think that's the coolest thing. Um, I really do. I just think that's really cool. So what do we do with this guy? What do we do with this square bill? This one dives uh, four to six feet. Um, I have done some craws. Let me show you. Gorgeous. It came out awesome. This one uh, yesterday. Look at that. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> it's hard to see where this camera is lined up on this. So this is really, 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 really. Man, that is just... Too much light, Mike. It's just too much light. Just turn off all these lights. Okay, so that's the craw I did yesterday. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the look at the back. That back is just a perfect, perfect color. This thing right here would be so nice to sell. You guys, you know, that'll be one of the ones for sale on the 25th. And um, I did uh, three of them, four of them yesterday. I did four of them yesterday, and it is just gorgeous. So, <laughs> this is this is a two inch. This is a two inch bait. This is a two inch bait, quarter ounce um, bait. Good knock on it too. It's got a good knock on it. I like it. It's sort of a higher, medium pitch to it. So, what do you think I should paint? Come on, guys. You guys get creative on me. <laughs> Challenge my skill level. <laughs> Crappie's always fun, but we, already, we just did a crappie. What do you think? A fire tiger? we we'll do a fire tiger. What do you think? Fire tigers are blue and orange. You know, one thing, single dad, and I'll tell you this, bass don't see blue. Trout do. So bass have no blue cones in their, their, their color spectrum. They only see red and yellow, and they see blue as silver. So uh, uh, blue and orange will definitely catch a fisherman. <laughs> I love orange, though. I really do. Um, I love blue. Don't get me wrong. I love blue. It looks so good. And I got a great blue. Um, you know, this this blue is just absolutely stunning. Um <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a bluegill pattern. Oh, you know what, Kenny? I, I, I did a bluegill. Yeah, I have two bluegills behind me, and they take about an hour and a half to do a bluegill. Um, uh, should we do a bluegill? They do take a long time. There's so many colors in a bluegill. You know, the reds, the orange, the blues, the greens, the yellows. Um, I mean, you really hit all the spectrums on a bluegill. So that's true. That, what do you think, a fire tiger? Go real bright. That's red, yellow, orange, you know, I mean, with black. Um, it pops. And I do have a very nice stencil um, for, you know, the stripes on a fire tiger. What do you think? I have a I have a video on my 25th show. If you click on it, you'll see me paint a bluegill. All right. We're going to do. So we're going to do a fire tiger, which is a white base. This is a very, 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 very bright bait. I mean, this thing is 
it's just a bright bait. Why? I mean, it is just a beast of a bait. Like I said, and in clear water, fire tigers are just, well, they're killer. Um, you'll catch. So we're just going to, yep, let me put the camera down so you can see what we're doing. This is just a white face right here. Now, typically, we do a little tack coat first. And uh, then I lay on the opaque. I had a 69 Dodge Charger, a couple of them actually, but my second one, I did a year and a half. It took me to get the body nice and perfect. And then I took it to garages, paint booths, to say, okay, guys, I did all the work. How much would it cost for you to lay the paint on for me? You know? They all wanted to charge me $7,000 to $10,000 paint my 69 charger i think they thought i had money because i had a classic muscle car um and i said well that's ridiculous i mean how far can painting be a car <laughs> so i read i read some books watched some youtube videos i took my garage how much for something in a small pumpkin seed oh i love pumpkin seed I just bought two jackhammers so that would have to be next week. Well, you know what, uh, Kenny? I mean, my next show is the 25th, so don't worry about that. You know what? I love pumpkin seed because we have pumpkin seed sunfish here in the area, and it is by far the most beautiful fish there possibly is. I can change my mind on this because it's just the base. But that would require me to I need to get a picture. I need to get a picture up on the screen of a pumpkin seed sunfish. They really are the one of the most beautiful fish. Possibly love this color. So an image. Boom. And we're going to pop it up on that screen because it is it's going to be on the screen above my head, right? All right. We can do pumpkin seed. God, that's a gorgeous fish, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> Look it up. It's the prettiest fish to catch. All right. All right. So I got a picture of it up there. Now we got to start pulling colors. We're going to go, we got to go with a gold. Which is really, gold is weird. Brown is weird. Because gold is basically a brown. But it's a dirt, it's a, what we call a dirty color. It's uh, basically green with a little bit of red in it. <laughs> I know, it's weird. It's like yellow, blue, and red, but in the right balance. So we got that, we got that. And then we also have sort of a turquoise. And it happened... That's okay. We got a turquoise. That'll look really good. So um, we got turquoise, uh, orange. Yeah, it's really the striping. I do have scales, so I've got a. Uh, I use a net for the um, scales. So, I'm going to see what you guys are saying. I'm going to set my screen up where I can see you and still see this picture. All right, good. I am located in Klamath Falls, Oregon. 
Okay, there. I'm back online. I see that. All right. So I've got my scales. Yellow, red, green, turquoise. That turquoise is more blue, though, so we're going to have to mix it. We're going to mix that blue. It's a very light blue. There is a tad bit of red. We got red out. We don't need that. We really don't need that. Put these up. We're going to need black. But now... It's striping on the face. And that's what makes it. It's such a beautiful fish. Um, the striping on the face. How am I going to do that? Yeah, Mammoth Falls, Oregon. My own little town. The conservative part of Oregon. <laughs> Not the crazy parts that you hear about on the news. Of Portland and stuff. Portland's five hours away north. We're right on the California border on the southeast corner of Oregon. Now, south part. Almost in the middle. In the south part. I'm going to have to hand paint. I think we're going to have to hand paint those uh, those stripes on the head. Use an artist's brush. Because uh, I don't have... This is a really small head. I don't have a stencil uh, that can do that. Uh, the spots are fairly even. Okay, we got to go with yellow and gold for our base. So we're going to go, the bottom half of the fish is going to be yellow, and then we're going to put a gold texture over it. We're going to use the netting for that. So... Whenever I paint a, a fish, I gotta have a picture of the fish, and then in my mind, I gotta analyze the layers. What do I see first, and then second, and then and then build on it? Because when you're when you're basically building a, a, a you know a painting, you're doing it from bottom to top, and you know each layer underneath has something to do with it. So we are going to go with we need to go pearl. I'm going to go with a pearl base on the bottom half of this fish, um, yellow. And then we're going to mix. Then we're going to mix our gold. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We can use quite a bit of yellow in here because we're going to use some for the gold. So let's uh, point the camera down so you guys can see me paint. This is a pearl yellow. It's really shiny. All right, I need to look at the uh, head. Head sort of. Half and half. There's quite a bit of blue in a uh, sunfish, pumpkin seed sunfish. All right, so that is our yellow. That's our yellow. Oh, you guys, so much light. I know if I turn off all the lights, I'm almost in the dark. <laughs> All right, so there. All right, so there's there's our yellow. Hey, it looks green, but it's not. It's yellow. <laughs> and then we're going to dry that because now I'm going to take. I got to make wool. So we're going to take some yellow. We're going to take some blue, very little blue, because remember, blue is a very strong pigment. And we're going to make it green. Of 
and then we're going to add just a tad bit of red after we make the green and that'll turn our green into gold weird huh that's a little bit of red in there there's our green come on Go through a lot of toothpicks. <laughs> there are at color editor adding in, in our mixer and red is very strong pigment too. So let's see what we got here. Come on, but not get falling over. All right, that's looking good. Looking good in there. So I'm just a little bit more red. I'm going to add just a little bit of reducer. That's a drop or two. If you ever want to do some painting, buy a color wheel if you don't know your colors. Color wheels are great. I told you, can you think? Yeah. I love jackhammers. You know, they don't make, they're, they're stopping the jackhammers. Because they get the jackhammers in conjunction with, uh, I forgot the name of the company. It's like Sunflower or something like that. And, uh. I don't think I like this color yet. And it's too green. Beautiful. It's not the color I want. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to put one drop. Okay. Oh, let's see if I overdid it. It's amazing the power of one drop. Just want that right. Really want that that gold. I mean, you really don't go through a lot of pain. I mean, we're 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 talking one drop, two drops. <laughs> it's just, it's just want that color. It's what you want. <sighs> okay, that looks like gold to me. I think I've struck gold. I've struck gold. really is that's it that's it that's the color that's the color so you take a little toothpick and brush it on a popsicle stick make sure you got oh, there's a beautiful gold it really is a gorgeous gold so we're gonna purge this get the gold out damn that's what i'm talking about all right so we got We got gold, so we got that put another layer of gold on there. Darken the gold. And 
You gotta get it on your head too. <clears throat> yeah, this is just the base, you know, this is the underlying colors. This is actually a, a dominantly blue fish. I know, the bass don't see blue, but it's such a pretty bait. We just got it. <laughs> but they see blue as silver, so this is actually a really popping, you know, you can probably catch a trout with this, too. Um, I've caught some big old trout with my baits. I'm going to darken this. A little bit of black. Yeah, just a touch black. Okay, we need to darken this gold just a little bit. And now, what we're going to do, we're going to put scales on this. We're going to put scales on the, uh, with that net. It's actually a neat effect. Um, so we darken this gold just a little bit with some black and we're going to mix vigorously so hey jay huts it's big <laughs> anyway i thought it'd be fun to show you guys and then actually have you guys choose my baits that I paint. So that's, we're doing a, a, a pumpkin seed sunfish right now. Working on the base layers, which is gold. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint scales on it. Um, and we're going to do that with a net. So this net, we're going to lay over the top. Make sure I'm okay. And we're going to lay this over the top and then pull this away. And it's not dark enough. And a little more black to this. Quite a bit more, actually. this texture to it. There we go. It's out. All right. All right. Uh, the netting over it again. Is our scales rather faint but they're there now we're going to do it on the other side and it's a good color for the scales real pretty and voila oh man they're beautiful those are beautiful scales I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera or not. Let's see if we can see those scales in the camera. There you go. There's the scales. There they are. <laughs> Paint that back. All right. So now, <laughs> now we've got the texture. We've got the base colors. Now I've got a mix. The blue. I'm 
which is a light blue down on the bottom. So we're going to go light blue at the beginning and then work our way to the more turquoise blue. That's a beautiful gold bait <laughs> right now. <laughs> so we are now going to empty that. Goodness. Actually, no. Where is it? Do I have a transparent one? No, probably not. I don't see. I have a transparent black. <laughs> yellow. Transparent red. How can I not have a transparent blue? Oh well. No need. We'll make the blue. So we're going to use quite a bit of blue. About seven drops. And we're going to lighten it up. Because our first layer is going to be nice and light. And we'll put that on the back. This is where this bait starts to really turn into something special. I mean, the blue is gorgeous anyway. Like I said, it's a, but for a pumpkin seed sunfish, what an idea. I put the wrong color in. I love, I have lots of white. Oh, come on, baby. We're going to put this on the back spine. There we go. That's the blue one. So now we're going to put this just on the back spine over that gold. Looking at the picture up on the uh, on the screen here, I'm going to redo this. Save that blue because we're going to use it still. I'm going to excuse myself for a second because I've got to empty this. Way too full. Ah. Don't spill, Mike. Don't make a mess. Clear this out.
Okay, we're going to be a little tricky. Like I said, this is not a... It's a beautiful thing, but it's tricky. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to pull the right... I don't know. This could be a good pattern. So... All right, so now we're going to make a very, and basically it's a white. Just a tinge of blue. We use this blue. This is just like a sky blue. Probably going to look white when I put it down. Right. So, I'm going to take this. Take this up, 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 up. Lay you down. This is just going to be the bottom section. Oh, yeah. That's the blue I wanted. So I'm looking at the picture up there. And again, this is just the beginning of it. Um, so now we're going to make this okay. now we're going to make this a darker blue. Uh, Since I've already made a darker blue, we'll just scoop it out of this cup, put it in my one cup to another cup. These and all these different household items we use. One more drop of blue in here just to darken it. One drop. Bam. One drop. I'm trying to match the blue onto the uh, picture there. And you just go one drop at a time until you get the color shade that you want. Like I said, the head striping I'm going to have to do by hand. 
All right, let's see what that looks like. Not dark enough. Not dark enough. It's a beautiful blue. All right. All right. Let's get another mask on here. To shoot that. We have to go with another darker blue. Did. You have a whole new appreciation of the value you get in a bank when it's hand painted. Because it is. A lot of work. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a little brain power, too, you know? I mean, it's like, it's very really easy making a bone white thing. But I have one, and they work really, 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 really well. But even the bone is a very specific color. All right. We got ourselves darker. So now, I'm going to add... Darker. You do paint your hands a lot. <laughs> Evergreen. This is, these are really blue fish. I think it was Kenny's idea to paint this particular pattern. All right, here's my last layer of texture.
Now, you guys can see this. Okay, we haven't finished the back yet, so we're going to clean out the brush. So the texture's done, except for the hand painting. Off a bit. <laughs> I got more colors on my hands. And no, it's not toxic, but it's just messy a little bit. The overspray. Not fun to deal with. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the create the painting and creative process of it. So when you do buy one of my baits, if you buy one of my baits, you now can appreciate the work that goes into one of these baits. I mean, you buy, I mean the, I sell cranks for 10 bucks. And this is actually only a $10 bait. I know. And I put really good hooks on these things. I put really good hooks on these things. Because I cannot stand buying a bait with a lousy hook. I have to always replace it. So, there it is. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a pearl white, a platinum white. I'm going to mix that. So, I want to do the face stripes. Looks good. <sighs> Got my white for the face. All right, so now we're we'll going to grab an artist brush. Really small, really tiny. And we're going to paint these stripes that are on the face of a pumpkin seed sunfish. So we're going to dry that. I'm going to lay it down so it's nice and still. So I can go ahead and steady my hand and steady the bait. Because I'm old, I do shake. My hands are not as... I can't be a surgeon. <laughs> All right, you get me, guys. You get me. You get me. It's a beautiful day. We got all these different shades of blue. The gold. And we're about to paint the uh, facial stripes on the uh, the head. So, but that it's starting to look I mean, good. See if I can get a picture of it for you. Focus, focus, focus. There it goes, 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 there it goes. Fish. All right. Good. 
right, so now lay it down onto here. I'm going to take a little bit of this paint here that I've mixed in my cup. Right, now we're going to come off the eye and just come on to the gill plate. Hopefully, all seems to be coming off the eye off of a pumpkin seed slope there. Yeah, I love this platinum color. Pull it down just below that gill plate right there. And then, oh, man, that's beautiful, guys. <laughs> if I do say so myself, I don't know if you guys can see that. See if it'll focus on it. No, maybe not. Sure is pretty. Oh man, that's pretty. I'm gonna flip it over and do it on the other side. Is that right? I only got two of you, huh? All right, that's all right. It is kind of boring to watch paint dry. But we're almost done with this pumpkin seed sunfish. All right. Let's get a little bit more on here. Just above the hill one in there. Yeah. Man, that looks good, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it as well as I see it, but that is the uh, striping around the eyes. So, yeah, you really can't see it as well as I can. Take my word for it. It looks really good. It looks really good. All right. Well, all right. We did two. A uh, complicated one. The pumpkin seed sunfish. And we did a crappie. A not so complicated one. The uh, crappie we did in a topwater wake bait jointed three inch. And that's this guy. So we did this one first. This was a suggestion. And then they challenged me with that beast, the pumpkin seed sunfish, which is a very beautifully, beautiful, beautiful fish to catch. I really love catching that fish. I've only caught one in Lake of the Woods. They're not real popular in Lake of the Woods, but I did catch one. <laughs> it was a little three or four incher, just tiny little thing. They don't grow that big anyway. Um, 
But uh, my auction is scheduled for the 25th. Um, if you go to the auction and click on it, you're going to see me paint a bluegill in really fast time because it takes about an hour and a half to paint a bluegill. A um, little more difficult than a pumpkin seed sunfish. <laughs> But <laughs> the pumpkin seed is still a very difficult one to do, the one we just did, because of all the different layers and textures on it. We did put a scale print on it underneath it. So it's very subtle because that's the way pumpkin seed sunfish is. It's a very subtle um, thing. So I hope you liked it. I really do. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the uh, two baits we painted, I don't know how long we've been on, but again, very happy with the way both of these turned out. This is your pumpkin seed sunfish and the crappie. Um, and uh, the uh, there's some subtleties to the crappie, you know, that burnt yellow. Right underneath the gill plate, you're not really going to see it on the, the camera. Um, and uh, Glasgow, <laughs> you just missed the show. <laughs> I did check your orders, and uh, you sh I don't know, did you get one yet? Another, you live farther away from me. I don't think either one's gotten to you, but they're definitely in transit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the shipping method that. Um, uh whatnot uses it's cheap but it's just not very quick uh because i can do pirate ship and it gets there really quick so i think it's a different class of mail um on whatnot than it does on pirate ship but i can't use pirate ship because they don't allow you to and i'm new so don't rock the boot right <laughs> Uh, poop. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> hey, Eric. So, yeah. Pumpkin seed sunfish. Pumpkin seed sunfish. The thing's oh, so bright right there. But that's it. That's it. That's a pumpkin seed sunfish. And, uh, and of course, the uh, crappie. Oh, I mean, these are still curing behind me. I just clear coated them this morning. But, oh, look at this. I mean, this one, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That. This is one of the ones that I made four of these for sale on the 25th. And you can, can't let them touch, can't let them touch. Still a little sticky. <laughs> That's the bluegill. That's a bluegill. Isn't that nice? That's one of these will be for sale. I'm keeping one for myself. <laughs> and oh let me pull this up. Uh, ha I haven't sold one of these yet. Hula popper. <laughs> it's a hula popper right there, baby. Isn't that pure, beautiful? That's a nice one. That'll get him. That'll get him. <laughs> Hula poppers. And I, I got some beautiful, 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 beautiful baits. I mean, really. Um, no, look at this. this is a, the, again, these are still real wet. Um, uh, so, uh, not a pretty one. Oh, uh, yeah. Top water. Wake me. <laughs> I can't get it all over my finger. Yeah, it's still, you know, I use a two part epoxy. It takes two days for it to dry. Um, so those are up there curing. It takes four days to make a bait, just so you know. <laughs> From start to finish, it takes four days to make a bait. And. 
I know. I sell them way too cheap. But, yeah. I might just keep that pumpkin seed for myself. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody buys it? Do you make the skirts? No, I don't. It came with the uh, the blank. Uh, it came with the blank. And uh, so I don't make those skirts. But I painted the blank to match the skirt. One of those are for me. The other one's for sale. So I painted two of them. One's for me, one's for you. The bluegill one's for me, one's for you. Because you know what? I like my baits. <laughs> I like fishing with them. So, but uh, I want to thank oh, six of you. I want to thank you guys. Please find my 25th. Click on it. You're going to see that bluegill uh, accelerated, uh, how I painted that. Go to my YouTube channel, Terrible at Fishing, and um, you will see me paint a ton and catch a ton and do stuff. Um, I have over a thousand videos on my YouTube channel. And um, you will see me do just about everything. Um, you'll see my boat. I love my boat. And uh, the I'm always painting baits. I mean, since I've done these auctions on whatnot, you guys buy about 20 baits per auction from me. And I have to keep up with that. And then I have a store in town, and I have to keep up with three orders. So... Um, Always painting baits. I do have some surprises on my next auction. If I get the equipment here, the parts here, fast enough, um, we're going to sell some of my spinners. And um, those are all handmade. And so uh, we'll get those spinners made if I get the parts here fast enough. And uh, get those ready for the 25th. I will have other surprises um, on the 25th. I've learned a lot in the, my first inaugural auction and then a lot on the pop-up. And I've been watching a bunch of people do auctions. And um, I'm learning quite a bit from just watching other auctions. And I've been sucked, you know, sucked in, too, every once in a while. <laughs> so, you just can't pass up a good bargain. I mean, somebody sells, you know, a bait or two for a buck or two. I mean, I'm going to jump on it. Uh, I will not. I, I mean, my baits won't start on one dollar. They start at five in auction, unless it's a jointed bait, and we'll start it at nine or ten, depending on the comp complexity of the the paint job. That bluegill is very complex. You'll see it again. Find my twenty fifth um, auction, and you'll uh, you can click on it and actually see me paint that bluegill. Um, although in night. 60 seconds <laughs> took an hour and a half took a lot of editing and speeding up <laughs> so it was hard all right it was just it, bluegills are hard there's just so many colors in a bluegill that that you know that pumpkin seed it's hard um you know what i did forget one thing on the pumpkin seed didn't i i did forget one thing on the pumpkin seed Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The spot, didn't I? So we need to put a spot on this, right? It's too big a brush. That's too big. What artist brush I just had? Where's my artist brush? You need to put I need to put a spot right here. Spot right there. The spot right there. So we got to put the spot on there. We got to put a spot. Go figure. Got 
good. All right, now it's done. <laughs> I just looked at the the the, uh, the picture. And I said, "Wow, I'm missing something." All right, now my pumpkin seed sunfish is done. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I, I just thought it'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, you did. Do you paint any swim bait blanks? Oh, heck yeah. Uh, let me see. You know. So I have a lot of my swim baits are out in my truck because I've been going fishing lately. But. Here's a uh, crappie swim bait. This baby, what I'm about to show you, this is a blue back, but this is a seven and a half inch wake bait. And this thing has had some big beasts on it. I use this one a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, this beast is one of the best best wake baits I have ever fished with and it is a beast now I do I don't I don't have any in here but I do have um, well probably my best seven inch um, wake bait it's a slow sink I have to order some more once I get some of this payment in when I get some of the payments in because it takes 10 days for what not to pay me um, then I'll order them, and then we'll get those in. Those have a uh, uh, the eye on it. Actually, like this one, it swivels. And uh, this one swivels too, but this one doesn't. Um, this has some gamakatsu, really sticky hooks. Those are one-aught gamakatsus. And uh, so, yes, I do do big swim baits because I love big swim baits. Um, big swim baits catch big fish. <laughs> they, it's just the way it works. And so I do, I do do swim baits, but they're very expensive um, to buy. Uh, easy to paint, <laughs> but I fit it with the best hooks on the market. I mean, you when you put one out, so you're gonna have to put. And then I just cannot stand when I get a you know eight pound bass on it and it has the ability of spitting out the hook i do not like that and neither do you so everything that i put on my 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 baits are really sticky hooks uh, big black typically is the hook i like using on my smaller baits it's the closest thing i found to the sixth sense um hook um it's a fantastic hook but uh, if I'm not using Big Black, then I'm using Gamakatsus. And uh, really, really nice. So um, I will be painting more Big Baits in a few weeks. So not this auction, but probably the following auction. Uh, again, I need what not to pay me <laughs> for what I've sold. And once they pay me, then I will um, order some Big Baits. Um, I love jointed baits. I just do. I love jointed baits. Um, you know, this even this three-inch wake bait, this thing is a killer. This is a killer bait. Um, this one right here, we painted this today uh, on online here. And it is just a really, really, really good design. They make a five-inch version of this, but I like I like going smaller because I like smallmouth bass. And a smallie is going to hit that faster than you can blink. Uh, large mouth will hit it too, of course, but you're only going to catch about a two, maybe three pound um, large mouth with that. But with the small mouth, you get your five pound small mouth. I mean, you're in like Flynn. It's like catching a, a double digit large mouth. I mean, smallies are the best, best fish to catch um, uh, when it comes to a fight. Um, and then, of course, the um, my swim baits too will also catch. I make some just for the German brown trout. And German browns, they can get up to three feet um, in my lake. And uh, uh, on my channel, Terrible Fishing, you'll see me catch a 27-incher on one of my baits, actually. Uh, one that I painted. So, 
And what do we got? Small onions. Are, yeah, they're the best. I love smallmouth bass. Um, yeah, please check out the channel. I mean, I have over a thousand videos on my channel. I'm 11 hours away from monetizing. <laughs> so just pick a long video and play it in the background. <laughs> Mute it. I don't care. <laughs> Eleven hours, and uh, but uh, the uh, you'll see me paint a lot of baits. You'll see me catch a lot of fish uh, on the channel. And yes, it's called terrible at fishing. When I started the channel, I was paralyzed, and I had a, uh, a hemorrhage in my head, and uh, it uh, uh, paralyzed me for a, quite a long time until new blood vessels grew around the the spot. And um, I was a, and, and blood flow started to get to that area of my brain again. Um, and I was able to start recovery. Um, but I was paralyzed with seizures for about seven months. And, uh, and, and when I started the channel, I just I started it just to talk to something, just to try to get my mouth to say a few words. So I, uh, um, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I just, it was therapeutic. I named it terrible at fishing because I couldn't walk or talk. Um, I was terrible at fishing. <laughs> you can't get worse than that, huh? <laughs> so, but when I started fishing again, fishing is my therapy, and I thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just, I love fishing. I love sitting out on this beautiful lake. I have Lake of the Woods, which is my go-to lake here in Oregon. And it's the best fishing hole. I mean, I catch big bass, I catch small bass, I catch smallmouth, largemouth, I catch German browns, I catch rainbows, I catch you can catfish in it. I don't I've never catfished, but people catch catfish blues in our um our uh blue cats in the uh, lake. Um a lot of crappie. We catch a lot of crappie in the lake and tons of perch. I hate perch. Um, uh, but uh they kind of make me feel like you know, I'll be throwing a soft plastic out there. And the perch will, you know, start to bite on the tail of the Senko. And it makes me feel like I've got a fish. And I set the hook. And, and he's not even hooked. He's just bit on the Senko. And you pull him up. And there's a stupid perch. <laughs> but it's also a great ice fishing lake. Number one last year in the nation. Um, so I go ice fishing in the winter. Um, although this year it didn't freeze over for some reason. But I want to thank you guys. And please check out the 25th. Um, these baits that I have behind me and then the ones that we just painted, I'm not sure about that pump, that pumpkin seed sunfish because I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> sometimes I keep one for myself. Um, it's an artist's prerogative. <laughs> I might put it up. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to, when I put the eyes on it and the clear coat, that thing's going to pop like crazy. Um, it's going to look really I mean, once you got the eyes and the clear coat on it, I mean, wait, look at this craw. Okay, this craw looked good when I painted it, but it looks fantastic with eyes and clear coat on it. <laughs> it's still drying. It's still real sticky. Uh, but what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful craw. Um, just a great looking color. I mean, I got that blood red up on top, and I nailed it. Um, just, it's almost, you can almost see some magenta in it, um, in that blood red. I mean, it's just turned out really good. And uh, so, and like I said, one of those bluegills are mine. <laughs> it's, you know, they're hard to paint. And so I sell one, I keep one when I do too. And that one, I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, please check it out. Um, I really appreciate it. Do I have any wall? You know, we do not have walleyes in this part of Oregon. Um, what bluegill are very, are everyone ranting about? Oh, <laughs> well, it's good. It's good. I got some buzz. Um, let me show you. That's it. That's, that's a bluegill. Uh, let's see if I can turn off some of these lights. You know, the camera. There's the blue gun. So it's a topwater wake bait. And uh, just, I mean, <laughs> this took an hour and a half to paint. 
took an hour and a half to paint. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a, it, it's just a beautiful bake. Um, like I said, one's for me, one will be for sale <laughs> on the 25th. Because, you know, when I paint something that complicated, I got to keep one for myself. <laughs> Again, I, I artist prerogative. <laughs> oh, well, it's not, you know, I guess it takes some patience, um, but uh, it really is so much fun to create something and then catch something with what you created. And it's such a compliment when I'm out on the lake and I give a bait to a kid. I give lots of baits to children out on the lake. And uh, I'll see a, a, a young man or girl uh, over on the, on the shore and, uh, or off a dock or something. And I'll go over and ask, the, you know, tell, introduce myself to their parents. And then I'll give them a bait and teach them how to use it. And then I watch them catch a fish right there. I gave a, a whopper plopper popper. Show you one of my favorite smallmouth baits. Uh, here it is. Here's one. Okay, this is. <laughs> I gotta buy more of these because I'm all out. Um, this right here is Whopper Plopper Popper. So it's a tiny little thing, and it's got a popping front. It's a Whopper Plopper. You throw this baby in the water. <laughs> This catches small mouths. And so I went to this dock recently, I mean, last year, and saw this kid getting in his boat with his mom and dad. And I asked him what he was using. And I said, I says, well, try this. And I took it off my line because I was catching a lot of fish with it. And I put it on his line. And I, over to the left of the dock, um, I had, there were some bushes. And then there's usually fish there. I says, toss it over there. And he tossed it over there. And I taught him how to retrieve it. Second cast, <laughs> second cast, uh, smallmouth broke surface and hit this, and he and he and he brought it in. Um, his parents were just ecstatic, of course, and he was just tickled. And that's what makes fishing fun for me. Um, I love teaching fishing, and on the first June, June first, uh, we have a children's event um, at Lake of the Woods where we fence off or we net off part of the marina and then we have a pool that we put trophy trout in and we those are for the kids six and under and the handicapped children and that's my pool that i i tend to and make sure all the kids are catching fish and uh, to see a down syndrome or an autistic child uh, or even one that is paraplegic or something just catch you know an 18 inch or 16 inch trout um that's the best i mean i donate so much um to the events i i donate about a thousand dollars worth of baits to every event at lake of the woods <coughs> so all the kids i think every kid should get a prize every kid so they all get a prize and that day we actually we have a barbecue and cleaning station we clean the fish for them and then we cook it for them. So typically it's a catch and cook day for all the kids. So all, that day, people people will bring their kids. It's a free event too. It's free. So people bring their kids. They catch their fish. They can eat it for lunch. And it is the best. That's well, the best day of the year. It is the best day of the year. There's no doubt about it. We have Smokey the Bear there and stuff like that. It's just a lot of fun. But these little whopper plopper poppers, boy, I got I'm going to buy more of these because this is the most incredible warm water, small mouth bass bait. If you ever see one of these, grab one. They're really, 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 really good baits. Um, you would be shocked how fast they catch a, catch a, a bass. I have a whole wall over there. <laughs> I got a whole wall over there. Baits and then, of course, I've got my spinner rack and stuff, so. Just trying to get everything ready for the season. So I got to hop off. All right, buddy. Single dad. Um, yeah, thanks. And and look for that package. It's a, it's in the mail. It's there. You can just check out the tracking. I want to thank you guys for joining me and doing this little live showing us. And thanks for 
bringing up. You guys picked the two baits I painted, the crappie and the pumpkin seed sunfish. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the 25th or earlier. Maybe I'll do another one of these little painting sessions. And check out Terrible Fishing on YouTube. I think you'll like my channel. I really do. Lots of different playlists from the beginners to the advanced. And uh, if you like Oregon fishing, there you go. I've got south the lakes of southeast Oregon uh, that I fished at all of them. So, guys, take care. And uh, we'll uh, hop off. <laughs> take care, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed it. All right, what do we do here? Here.